Good afternoon. Something's what? Got a sound right there, that was. What's that? I don't know, it had that last On time. On A55 towards Chester <sighs> for 28 miles. I think it might be because we're not on that. Turn left, A572, Newton Road, then go. turn right. So he was heading up to Carnforth. Like I say, I've been stuck in this traffic for an hour and a half from Witness. Uh, Bob on the 62 between Crockton and Witness. Uh, we got to Warrington and there's traffic there. So we came up to the 49 and there's traffic getting onto the 6 there. So I thought, right, we'll look to the old way up to Link, onto the East Lakes, and we've been sadly setting traffic down here for 40 minutes. So it's not so meant to be. We've booked somewhere closer. Yeah, we've booked to stay in a CL, CL. Um, with the Caravan and Motorhome Club, which I've had problems turn on my, right. on my app trying to book it, so I've had to ring them up. Turn right. Uh, so we're staying so there tonight. Tumley Moss. Tumley Moss. So we don't know what this is going to be like, so bear with us and we'll show you this one tonight. But we're still an hour away from there. Yeah, we don't know what time we're going to arrive for that one. But, uh, yeah, it seems like it's uh, all conspiring to keep us away from where we're meant to be today. And However, it's so beautiful. Yeah, Not it's... a day to be sat in a car. No, I don't I don't think we're sat inside a vehicle. 
the sunshine on you, eating it up. Yeah, and the poor dogs are sat melting. Well, they're not too bad. The windows are open. Even up, I'm walked five times already, so. Yeah, so I've had lots of plays. And lots of smell, more importantly. <laughs> But we'll let you know when we get where we're going. Bye guys. Well, we left. What was it called? Farley. Farley. Back to them this morning. Yeah, and it's now... 20 to 6. 20 to 6. We've been on the go, stuck in traffic. speaking here. Donna's preparing the tea in our beautiful waterfall. So this is where we are. Two oaks. It's, um, it's quite, it's quite super really doing quite. The view's not bad. Um, I suppose it'd be good for some people. We're spoiled <laughs> the other man so we have views, views galore so we're a bit spoiled really. So there's spots one I believe there's spot two there's spot two there's spot three. Oh, four. that's four bag of pan so where's one might be a double spot ah. yeah so we're taking up two spots sorry to the owners but there's no one here tonight so if someone comes we'll move need me anyway so we're in a double plot <laughs> Typical with Donna's driving to take a double spot. And Donna's editing this, so she might make a comment about it. So there's one. Hang on, that's two, three, four. All right, four spots. I see. Anyway, I get to off a little too fast. Anyway, like I say, it's a CL site. Pretty good because over in the corner here, there's a little dog pool. Isn't that nice? Got dry waste, chemical deposits, drinking water, and wastewater. My only gripe is the waste, the, the drinking water outlet is a three quarter inch or 22 millimeters. Very unusual. So our hoses wouldn't fit it. So we had to use a bucket and a funnel, which I made out of foil, to put some water in there thing for tonight. There's a little hut, information hut. Um, there's a chemical waste. Brilliant idea. Well done guys. There's water for cleaning chemical waste. There's rubbish. And there's a little dog walk area. It has been mown over let me see your finger. I don't your finger dead it dead easy pictures there. It is mown across there, about three foot wide, and across the back three foot wide. But 
that's a bog in the centre there. So best keep the dogs off the centre bit. View isn't that bad, like I say, of trees and a bit of rolling countryside. We are spoilt, we really are. Um, this is a beautiful, quiet spot. Ducks and horses and sheep in the area, all quacking the bed and the moon and whatever they do, whatever animals do. That area over there, that shepherd does this, it says private, so that must be for the owner to come and chill. Which is not a bad idea. Nice surrounded by trees, nice and sheltered. The only thing is, there'll be lots of mozzies because behind that fence there is like a pond, stagnant pond. So, as hence the muddy area there, the swamp area there. So, like I say, it's really good. No hook up, no electric hook up. But you've got, like say, you've got water, you've got waste water, you've got chemical waste. So, yeah, it is down a bit of a lane. Um, I'll just take a walk up here. Keep showing you how nice an ice hole Because we like it. We're proud of it. So, it's just a nice sight. There's a water pipe there. Just imagine the dog. Oh. No, it's fox, it's not drinking water. It's a steep bank and deep water there. Parking is available up there, I suppose. Uh, the owners have put a nice there saying, thank you, safe journey. Not seen the owners. So, there we go. Two oaks, caravan site. So just a quick price list. But it's all very, very nice. Very, very quiet, very sedate. If you're trying to get away from the world, not a bad place to do it. Half the ones with you, nice and quiet and secluded. So you compost heap. <laughs> I dare compost heap, I don't know. <laughs> but there it is, guys. Oh, we've got a pitch number five here. Stands. Like I say, we're on one, which is a big double. Two's a single one. Three's quite a, a medium one. Four's a good one. And five, that's massive. And that might use that for camping as well, which can't say I'd be able to. Anyway, guys, it's getting the evening. We're about to get some tea. Thank you for joining us. And like I say, Donna will edit this to her heart's content and remove any bits that she's not happy with. In the meantime, good night. Thanks for joining us. Please subscribe. Bye bye. You've got me in the middle of cooking. I am I'm doing a mixed pepper, onion, cooked in in this. It's a bread dipper. But it's brilliant for marinades and things like this. It gives it all a nice little warm feeling. It's a garlic, oregano and pepper. I just sent Mike out to do a vlog on the area and where we are tonight. And he's done it. Right, and just come over there. Okay. Billy, get off the bed. The, You're supposed to stop the, the side mic, can you turn the lights off please? I don't know how we managed to get so many lights on, but since we're running out of battery. Okay, well I didn't put it on, did you? We are off grid. We've come to fill the water uh, in the place that we're staying so and the so nozzle. So oh, my nozzle doesn't fit. Out of the way. So that was not fun. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah we've got ribeye, peppers, onions and some potatoes. I'll show you now. There we go. Mixed peppers, onions, all stirring up with my balsamic glaze on them and some olive oil and garlic. 
So but when they're done, I will quickly fry the steak in there. Don't ask me why. I have not bought one pan lid. Don't know why. So I have got little chopped up potatoes ready to go. Um, once these are done, the ribeye will take literally minutes, if that. It's only thin and it's simply simple to cook if you both like it medium. So, I'll show you the finished article. Potatoes cooked and just draining with a knob of butter on. Steaks. Sizzling away nicely there. Veg is done and I will put that just in to flash cook now. So guys, this is a finished plate. Peppers, onions, boiled potatoes chopped into little pieces and a nice ribeye. Mike's already started on his, looks like a dog's dinner already. So we'll see you in a bit. It's the second time, because what a f not the first time today. Don't forget to press record. I've done a vlog. Is it your fault, Cornelia? Yeah. Hi, right, folks. It's a very, very pleasant evening. It's quarter to nine, it's going dark. Big go to sleep. Bugger off. Bye bye. <laughs> quite the way you meant to do this babe I hope you haven't done the other part Mike's been driving for how many hours today? Uh, about five and a half hours so we'd have to stop sort of you so we're a little bit tired we've just had our steak and potato and peppers <sighs> and if you can stay awake to the end of this do you think you'll stay awake? No, I didn't think so. So, guys, thanks for joining us today. Um, uh, we well, hope to see you next time. I hope. I'm getting an alarms or something. Oh, I think it might have been the chickens cooked. Oh, okay. oh, fuck. <laughs> so, guys, thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon. Take care. Our holiday was cut short at this point because I was taken ill. So we had to rush back to the Isle of Man. But everything seems okay. We'll keep you posted.